Thanks, Anthony. Well, ASU has quite the test coming up this weekend against the Utah Utes. They're led by their junior starting quarterback, Tyler Huntley, who is arguably the most dynamic quarterback in the Pac-12 right now. He has 1,700 passing yards, 11 passing touchdowns, and he also has four rushing touchdowns to add to his name. <laughs> Exos not only focuses on giving the best training on the field, but they create personalized diets based on each athlete's body type. The custom diets include counting macros, putting certain amounts of macros, which are carbs, proteins, and fats, into each meal that the athletes eat at Exos. Now Giovanni, he teaches these kids different agility drills and also put their whole bodies into their throws. And he's also coached quarterbacks that have gone on to play in the NFL, including Tim Tebow, Colin Kaepernick, and Tyrod Taylor. Welcome into this brand new edition of the house. Arizona State taking on, uh, t take, taking on. Take it's a bye week! Hey, 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 get on it. Hey, hey. There's no football. There's no football. What do you mean there's no football? There's no football. There's no football. It's a bye week. What? It was a game of many momentum changes, and Arizona State's hopes of winning the Pac-12 South all came down to a two-point conversion, but it was Oregon's offense that was the most impressive as they put up 449 total yards of offense, converted seven of 16 third downs. While here in Scottsdale, longtime Rockies outfielder Carlos Gonzalez, a.k.a. Cargo, signed a minor league contract with the Cleveland Indians. Gonzalez spent 10 years with Colorado, left the program in 2017, and then re-signed with the Rockies for one year. Hey, what's happening, y'all, and happy Friday. We have your weekly dose of ASU football coming right at you, but before we dive in, Blaine, you were at the ASU-USC game at LA Memorial Coliseum. Uh, what stood out to you most about this past game? Kim Phillips? Yeah, you probably haven't heard much of his name or that there even was a Kim Phillips on this ASU football team. But he made his name known loud and clear on Saturday as the true freshman safety intercepted his first pass of his young college football career. And what a time to make your first pick. I mean, intercepting a potential top five NFL draft pick in Justin Herbert isn't a bad way to get your first college INT. Phillips may just be getting started here at ASU, but get to know his name and get to know it well because he's going to be making an impact on this ASU defense for the next three years. And it's why Cam Phillips is our feel-good story of the week. It's a magnificent Monday here in Cronkite Sports Now. I'm Austin Burnett. Let's tip things off by bringing in Braden Bell, who's in the place to be. Minneapolis for the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship game tonight between Virginia and Texas Tech. Braden, what do you got for us? That'll wrap it up for us here at the house. For our producer, Noah Lau, for Blaine McCormick, I'm Austin Burnett. Have a good Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen. Don't eat too much turkey.